Okay guys, I got a special video for you today. Probably wondering what it is? Well, I'm going to start a new series on this channel. It's going to be called Apple Review. No, I'm not going to be reviewing Apple products. I don't even have an Apple product. Samsung all the way, man. An actual Apple review, man. You see this? You see this Apple right here? Look, I'll do a close, close up on it. Look at it. Today, our first Apple, a Honeycrisp Apple. It says here, Honeycrisp is an Apple cult, cult bar developed at the Minnesota Agriculture Experiment Station's Horticulture Research Center. So this bad boy developed in Minnesota. And it's grown all the way here in Florida. You see, number eight, number 84, number 84 ever made. I got the 84th apple here, man. Let's get that sticker off. Let's put that right here. See, look, number 84. Let's dig in. Where should I start? On the red side or the white side? Let's start right here. Ooh. Hey, Hope. You want some apple? Are dogs allowed to have apples? Can you guys even see my hope? Hey, Hope. Are dogs allowed to have apples? Are you allowed to have an apple? Yes. Alexa, are dogs allowed to have apples? Apple is a good source of vitamins for dogs, but apple seeds are poisonous. Dogs can have a few slices of apple, but should avoid the core. Consult a veterinarian if you believe your pet was exposed okay, to can have an apple. Of apple seeds. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you. Here we go. Here you go, Hope. How good is it? Hey, she enjoys it, I enjoy it. This apple, nice crisp taste. It's sweet, it's crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. It's only 14 out. It's only 14 calories per serving. I don't know what a serving of an apple is, but it's only 14 calories. Can't beat that. Let me do a close up real quick. See how crunchy it is. You ready? Mmm. 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 The one thing I hate about apples. If it's a mushy apple, it sucks. Throw it out. Get rid of it. Mushy apples are worse. But I also hate hard apples. It has to be somewhere in the middle. This is in the middle. You want more help? So on the litmus scale of an apple, I rate this a 6.8 out of 10. You're probably wondering, why don't I rate it higher? Well, the reason why I don't rate it higher is, hold on. I strictly review apples. This was a really good sweet apple, really crunchy, but like, it's getting stuck in my teeth. I don't like things getting stuck in my teeth. And it's getting like a weird taste in my mouth. It's not bad. It's not like bad weird taste. Like what bad foods will give you. And it's like making me want to burp. I can't like a not burping, but like makes me want to burp. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but overall, good apple. Really good. Um, 
<clears throat> I would recommend this. Go check it out. Uh, it's... Hold on. It's as high as $3.99 per pound at, in local stores, but frequently on sale during peak season. It's not unusual to see a discount at the $2.49 or $1.99 per pound. Go pick it up at Publix, Walmart, Aldi, um, save a lot, wherever you get apples. The apple. This apple's 20 years old. In 1990, they were made in a lab. People are like, oh no, I hate GMOs and all that stuff. Well, without GMOs, you want to have this great apple, man. GMOs make everything. Did you know 98% of corn is genetically modified? And you know how I usually eat apples and it starts to get brown? I can hardly see this apple start to brown. Now 15. Smash the like button if you want to see me do more apple reviews. I don't care what you say, I'm going to keep doing them anyways because this is a good apple. Thank you for watching. And make sure, keep on appling.